Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy to have you here today for a new video. Today we're gonna to be going over some recent beauty empties. So going through all the stuff that I've used up recently and I'm really excited to get into things today. So let's just kick things off right away with our cleansers. First up, we've got the Osea Ocean Cleansing Mud. This is a tried and true Jacqueline product. I've gone through a bunch of these. It is a definite favorite of mine. Um, I'm actually about to be out of the one in my shower again right now. Um, and I will need to be purchasing a new one. But I'm a little bit on the fence because they did reformulate and the container that I currently have or the product I currently have is from their original formulation, but they did say that they reformulated. So I'm interested to see if the new one is going to have the same effect for me um, and if I'm still going to like it as much. So we'll see, but I have a little bit left of that one. So definitely going to be using that up. In the next couple days next we've got my favorite makeup remover this is the pharmacy um normally it's the green clean but this is actually the strawberry shortcake clean so this is their i don't know if it is still available but it is their pink version of it um and it's basically the exact same thing it just smells different and is pink instead of green and this uses upcycled strawberry seed extract um and i'm pretty sure that this was yeah, so this was made in collaboration with Feeding America and Second Harvest um, to, I think that it had some kind of a charitable component. I'm not 100% sure, but I did like this. I think I'll just probably go back to the original though, because I do prefer that smell a little bit more. Um, but I just thought this was cute to like switch it up. So I did like this. So now we've got a couple of serums to get into. The first one needs no introduction or uh, explanation as to why I love it so much, but this is the Coco Kind Ceramide Barrier Serum. I've used so many of these. It's a favorite product. I will keep purchasing it forever. I love it. It's amazing. End of story. Next, we've got another one that I've purchased a few times over. I'm actually out of it right now. I haven't gotten a new one since I ran out of this, but this is the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid. I feel like I'm definitely going to want this back in my rotation because it is starting to get a little bit colder here even though it's still you know california in the late fall um it's not so cold but it is nice for just helping with dry skin next up we've got the shawnee darden retinol reform this is another one i really like um black friday is just a couple days away from when i'm filming this so i think i will have to be checking for some of these products on um sale through their different you know vendors and everything because i would really like to repurchase that it is a little bit more on the expensive side but it is something that i like to have in my routine i'm gonna be honest i've been out of eye gel or eye cream for a while since i finished this one up this is the squalane and peptide eye gel from biosance i do really like this um but i feel like i just need to find my like perfect eye cream fit and I just don't feel like I've had that everything has just been kind of like fine so I haven't found one I'm like 100% in love with but this is a solid option I think that I just need to like look around a little bit more um for something that I really like sunscreen is of course very important and I use it all the time so first we've got the Coco Kine Silk SPF this is SPF 30. I love this stuff. It smells good. It's lightweight. It's not sticky or irritating and just something I really enjoy. So I haven't really used a ton of Supergoop products. I do have their like SPF powder touch up that I keep in my bag for reapplying um, when I'm out and about, but I did like this one. This is the Unseen Sunscreen. I think that this was maybe like a hundred point perk or something at Sephora um it's nice it's just not like totally my cup of tea because it does have that like silicone-y type texture um which i don't love but it did feel nice um on the skin and just kind of like made my skin look nice when i was just using that absolutely love the smell of this stuff this is the vacation classic lotion it smells so good it smells just like nostalgic childhood sunscreen and this is another one i have another uh, mini size of this that i have in my purse 
to reapply to like my arms and stuff, especially if I'm like driving home um, because I feel like I definitely notice that my left side obviously is getting more sun when I'm driving. So I like having this with me at all times so I can just like reapply as needed. But I love this. I love the vacation brand. I think that they really nailed like their branding and like finding their niche within the sunscreen industry. And I just really love this stuff. Next, we've got two hair products. First is my favorite shampoo, another tried and true. I'm about, to, I feel like this happens every empties that I'm about to be out of the one that I currently am using. So we're not quite at the empties yet, but it's like about to be empty and I just got a new one um, to replace it. But this is the Jupiter Dandruff Shampoo. Just keeps my hair feeling and looking really clean. Um, I honestly don't know at this point if I like still would have dandruff if I stopped using dandruff shampoos. I've just been using them since I was like a teenager when I first started getting um, like psoriasis on my scalp. And I've just used different shampoos over the years. And this is the one that I've been using for quite a while now, like maybe two or something years, maybe longer. Um, and I do really like it. And I always wonder, I'm like, what would it be like if I switched? Because Occasionally, like when I get my hair cut or something and I use a different shampoo, um, I like don't have a problem, but that's usually like a one-off thing. So I don't know, but I love it. And like I said, keeps my hair feeling and looking clean. We've got this little mini R & Co Park Avenue blowout balm. This was just like a um, cream texture that you can use to add to damp hair. And I don't think it was a heat protectant, but it was just helpful for like smoothing out your hair. So this was something that I had in my like travel minis thing, but I decided to just like pull it out and use it up for when I was blow drying my hair. And I do really like this, but I have other products that I feel like get the job done just as well. Time for a couple little miscellaneous products. First, we've got the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I really love this stuff and I definitely want to repurchase it. I'm currently using a mini size of their other mascara. I think it's like the volumizing one. And I don't like that one as much as I like this one. So I think I'll definitely be switching back to it. But even though it's not as good of a deal, I do like using mini versions of mascaras just because I don't do my makeup too frequently, like maybe one to two times a week, if that, like this week I did it on Sunday and then today because, and that's probably all I'll do for the week. So I feel like I just don't use up the um, full tubes as well as I would a mini size because they just will like get dried out and stuff. But I do really like this and I definitely will see myself repurchasing this in the future. Another Ilia product and this is I believe the second one that I've used up because I think it was in my last empties as well. But this is the Ilia Lip Wrap Reviving Lip Balm. Um, this is really great. I love it. I keep one in my purse and one on my bedside table. This was my purse one so I'm actually needing to also repurchase one of these because I haven't had one to carry around with me. But I do really love that stuff. Another little miscellaneous item is the Olive and June top coat. This just got a little bit gloopy, so it was time to say goodbye and I purchased a fresh bottle. Um, clearly I don't have anything on my nails right now, but when I do, I love using that. It always makes them look shiny and keeps them, you know, looking good for a pretty long time. Last category we've got are some body products. So starting off with a Old Faithful, once again, this is the Necessaire Body Wash in Eucalyptus. This is the refill size. Um, one of these fills like about two of the normal body wash size. And I actually just repurchased this during their Black Friday sale, which is currently going on. I'm not sure if it will still be when this video goes up, but I wait for that every year because I always know I'm going to purchase something because they always have a great promotion that you get a free body serum with your purchase. And I'm pretty sure that this is the one that I got last year on um, Black Friday. So I just feel like that's a good deal because this is like $45 normally and it's completely free with any purchase. Um, I believe that their shipping is free over 50. So if you buy this and like one other thing, you get free shipping. But if you buy this, maybe the shipping is like a couple dollars. I don't exactly remember, but I thought that this was, you know, always a great deal that you get this for free every Black Friday because it's something that I don't have to purchase, but I just love this stuff. It smells great. I've talked about it a ton. 
Um, and like I said, I just bought a fresh one for Black Friday because I got the serum for free. If you've seen my empties videos, you know that this is another frequent uh, product that makes appearances. This is the Trader Joe's Moisturizing Cream Shave in the Honey Mango scent. Smells great, feels great on my skin, doesn't like clog up my razors or leave my skin feeling irritated. Um, a lot of scented products do irritate my skin, which is why I, once I find something I like, I really tend to stick with it. So those are two scented products that I do really love. Speaking of scented body products, this is one that I honestly did not love so much. This is the M61 Vita Blast C Body Butter. This is the Blue Mercury like in-house brand, I believe. And it smells okay, but I just didn't love that it left my legs like always kind of feeling sticky. Um, and same with my like arms and chest and anywhere else I would put this. Um, I only really got this because I had like a $20 off any purchase coupon at Blue Mercury to use. So I just decided to go with this and it's probably not something I would repurchase again. Um, but my favorite product from this brand is their like power peel pads. I use those like once a week and I absolutely love those, but this is just probably not something I would get again. All right, last two little miscellaneous products. We've got the Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter from Lush. This stuff just smells great, feels great. I love using this on my feet, like before bed, using it on my hands before bed. I definitely need to uh, make a trip to Lush and do a repurchase of this because this is something I've used for, gosh, like probably 14 years or something. Like. I feel like I started getting into Lush when I was like four, 13, 14, um, and I'm about to be 29 now. So I've definitely been using this for like half my life. And it's just something I will always return to because it always makes my skin feeling great and smelling great and I just love it. Last product we've got is the Mineral Fusion Nail Polish Remover, another tried and true. I always just pick this up at Whole Foods and it does a great job of getting my nail polish off without any problems and doesn't leave them like feeling brittle or anything like that and just love it that is going to be it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed seeing all of my beauty trash it's time to go get all of these properly recycled and disposed of i will link down below the blog post that i did a little bit back about how to properly recycle your beauty products so if you're interested in that you can check that out also in the description is going to be a blog post with all the links to all of these products that I mentioned. So if you're interested in learning more about any of them, you can do that down there. And yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope that you enjoyed watching. If you are not already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you would do so down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and let me know if there's anything that you've used up lately that you're enjoying. And I'll see you in my next video again really soon. Bye!